So there's a rich Texas oil well digger guy. All the money in the world. He had insane amounts of money. He's possibly the richest guy in the world. He could buy anything he wanted. And, uh, well, he had one son, and his son was in kindergarten. And the teacher, he wrote a note home, and he's like, you know, your son's the best kid in class, smartest kid in class. And the dad, he was really proud. He's like, wow, son, this is awesome. You know, you've done the family proud. Anything you want. I'll buy you anything you want. You can have it. And the son's like, well, dad, I want... I want a purple polka dotted ping pong ball. And the dad was like, no, that's, that's stupid. I'm not going to get you a purple polka dotted ping pong ball. And he went out and he got it one of those little tykes, like little house things that he could play in the playhouses. And uh, so it's a few years later, he's in sixth grade. He's graduating elementary school. And again, he gets a note or a letter, a report card, and he's like, teachers, you know, your son's the best kid in the class. He's the smartest kid, you know, he can do anything. And Dad's like, wow, son, you made us proud again. Um, anything you want, you can have. And son's like, well, Dad, I, I still want that purple polka dot of ping pong ball. And he's like, no, it's stupid. So he goes out and he, he gets him a bike. The best bike he can find, shocks, pegs, everything. And so he gives him that. And then again, years later, he's in high school, he graduates high school. Valedictorian, top of his class, uh, smartest kid, quarterback for the football team. He's everything. So Dad's like, wow, son, you know, you did the family proud. Anything you want, you can have. And son's like, well, Dad, I, I really want a purple polka dot of ping pong ball. And Dad's like, no, it's stupid. We're not going to get you a purple polka dot of ping pong ball. And so, please. <laughs> so Dad, he goes out and he buys him a new, new Mercedes, you know, top of the line. And so... Kid goes to college, graduates college, goes on to medical school. He's valedictorian again in medical school. And top of the class, the dad's like, wow, this is awesome. You know, anything you want, you can have. And son's like, you know what, I want to purple poke out a ping pong ball. Dad's like, no, that's stupid. I'm going to open your own practice for you. I'll get you started. And so he's like, okay. So his dad opens his practice, and then he's, he's doing his medical things, a doctor. He can cure any disease. He's the best doctor there is, anything. And so he decides to sell everything, and he goes to Africa to try and find new cures for diseases. And so he's out there, and he, he gets a disease that he doesn't know what it is. He can't, claim, he can't diagnose it. He can't cure it. He doesn't know what it is, and he's dying. And he calls his dad, and he's like, Dad, I'm dying. So his dad, he flies out, and he's like, Son, you know, you've, you've done the world so much good. Um, you're, you're dying. Anything you want, you can have. And his son's like, Dad, I, I really want a purple polka dot of ping pong ball. And the dad's like, fine, whatever, whatever. So he goes and he gets him a little a little ping pong ball with purple polka dots on it. And he, he goes and he hands it to him. He's like, son, first, before I give it to you, I have to know why you wanted a purple polka dot of ping pong ball. And then his son's like, well, Dad, I just... Uh, <laughs>